In this demo, I'd like to show you how to use Conan, the new C++ package manager, to get a small SFML example going. So let's say, for instance, I stumble, stumble upon this example of using a shader toy fragment shader in the SML, SFML framework or library. SFML is the simple and fast multimedia library. It's a low-level uh, gaming library for C++. And it handles 2D graphics, uh, input, sound, and also networking for you. And it's actually a very uh, nice and uh, lightweight way of being able to play with OpenGL because it's all OpenGL based and you can use it as your windowing uh, support in your OpenGL examples. Conan, uh, I think it's a successor of Bycode. So that's a new, uh, a new package manager or dependency manager for C++. Uh, Conan is written in, uh, is written in Python. And on the Conan website, you can see all the many different ways of installing this on your system. Uh, I used pip install Conan. So I've already done this uh, before starting this demo. So I need SFML for my own little C++ code. I went into the Conan site and searched for SFML. I found two candidates. One of these coincidentally is my own. Uh, I had to fix some bugs today while, whilst preparing this demo. And when you go to this page, you can already see how you can go about installing the specific package. However, it works much better to actually make use of a Conan file.txt in your project directory. And in this Conan file, just as is the case with a package.json uh, with npm or a requirements file in the case of pip, you get to specify all of your dependencies and also in this case the generator. So what type of build configurations you should create. Okay, so let's get started with that. So here is a, a, a empty directory, and in, in here I will just create a Conan file.txt. And in this Conan file.txt, I'll paste, there we go, I'll paste exactly uh, what it told me on that website. So you'll see there's a spec of SFML 2.3.2, that's the version. And that's in my uh, uh, uploaded repository on Conan, and I've tagged this table, so it's in a stable uh, stream. I've also said that I need this to generate a CMake build config for me, so I save that. Okay, so now we have nothing yet, but obviously we're also going to create that C++ file soon. Before we get there, however, we do need a CMake, uh, CMake lists. So let's get that uh, started. I'll uh, switch over to CLion right after having set, done this basic setup with Emacs. So there's my CMake list. And I'll put a very, very basic setup in here. So the important bit for Conan, or one of the important bits, let me just do that right now. is over here. So I'm including that Conan build info.cmake and that will be um, that will be uh, set up for me by Conan itself. I call the Conan initialization function and then uh, I specify or add Conan libs to my targets link libraries. And that's all I need to do for all of the dependencies that I will be pulling in via Conan. I'm putting in an extra piece of CMake code that I'm going to use to copy the shaders that I'm going to use into the same directory as my binary. There we go. I'll look at this a bit later. It's quite uh, well, you can find this on the on the web when you search for how to copy a, a directory of files together with your binary. OK, and uh, now we have that going. So I have two files here now. It's a cmakelist.txt in the Conan file. And now I still need to make that um, that Conan install invocation. So let's do that. So we just copy out this install command over here and then we'll modify it. So on this system, I'm using um, GCC version 6.1. Let's see if that works. So the first time I install, 
I have to specify which compiler, which compiler version for. It supports multiple. I can use Clang on this system and also multiple different versions of GCC. I'll share what that looks like in a second. <clears throat> So because it couldn't find a pre-built binary of this package on the kernel.io repository, it went and downloaded the, the source from the SFML repo that's all specified in the Conan package spec, package spec, and then it went and uh, made me that package. Just I'll just show you that invocation again. So it's Conan install, and then I set a number of variables. So compiler GCC, the version is 6.1, I'm using G++ 6.1, and I'm using the libstdc++ standard library. And uh, I think that's what I missed in the previous invocation. I'm telling it to uh, to build a package if it's not available on Conan.io. Okay, let's see what happened in this directory. You'll see I have an extra file over there called Conan info two extra Conan info .txt and Conan build info uh, The Conan info .txt is quite interesting because over here you see uh, you'll see it has populated my uh, my settings with which architecture, which compiler, and so forth. So uh, from now on, I can add dependencies to my uh, to my Conan file, and then it will just use these default settings from here if I add any extra ones. Okay, so it's time to break out the sea lion. There we go. So we'll just open this project we just created. There it is, Conan demo. So it's complaining about um, about the GCC version in that package, and it's because it's using the default version of my system. So first I have to tell C Lion that it should use my uh, my updated compiler. We do that in in the settings in build execution deployment CMake, and hopefully that will open soon. There we go. I just need to find the settings. There we go. Oh, it's actually complaining about the fact that I don't actually have the C++ file that I refer to in the uh, in the CMake, uh, CMake list. So let's do that. So what I will do now There we go. And now I'm just going to go and paste from that web page. Copy and paste. That was a shader code, and here is the C++ code. Let's see if this works. So let's try and build that. And that actually works. So that's pretty amazing because that means that uh, Conan has successfully installed SFML. It's a local version install. And because I include the Conan generated CMake file in my CMake list.txt, uh, it's 
now linking my little app with the correct the correct version library. So I could, for example, change the version of SFML. Um, I could add dependencies and this would just continue working, which is pretty nice for your C++ projects. Okay, there's still one little problem. This file needs to load um, needs to load that fire.glsl shader. Let's see if we can get that going. So you'll remember in my CMake lists, I've add a post, added a post build command that will copy the, anything that's in the shaders subdirectory of my project there, and will copy that uh, in the same directory as this target. So it's clear what I have to do. I have to create here a subdirectory called shaders. And inside of shaders, I have to create a file called fire.glsl. Let's do that. For now, we'll just uh, tell a C line that, that it's a text uh, text file, but it does have a plugin for GLSL. So let's take that. Here's the shader. I've done it like this with this uh, shader subdirectory so that I can add an arbitrary number of uh, more shaders as I continue experimenting. Um, I can add more fragment and vertex shaders and it, obviously it will just copy all of them um, to where my binary is, is built. So let's see if this works. F10 to run. And there we go. Beautiful fire shader. Taken from shader toy. Whee! Just uh, make one little modification. So I modified the shader so that the flames are slightly bigger. So there you have it. You can use Conan um, to install a growing list of C++ packages. And just like uh, is the case with NPM in the Node uh, ecosystem and PIP in the Python ecosystem, you can have uh, a sets of versions and specifically determined localized dependencies for each of your C++ apps. And that's really, really nice for development. So thank you for listening.